Yakuza, the Hanging Fellow Samuel, and this is another episode of Yakuza 5, and in today's episode, the Yahata family men wear red tracksuits. I'll round some up and get them to spill Yahata's whereabouts. So, um, it's been a while since I recorded this Let's Play. I don't really remember what the fuck happened last episode. Was I supposed to, like, pick up a treasure? Also, I got a drink here. It's cold, straight out of the fridge. It's a Red Bull Zero. Oh, it even says, drink it cold. Yeah, I'm doing it. Because it, it's the only way to do it. I think I already have the all the rewards for doing that. So what am I doing? I don't remember what I did last episode. I, I gave the taxi missions. Fuck if I know. I don't fucking remember. Maybe. Maybe not. That's pretty decent. Not as good as the normal Red Bull, but still overpriced, and I, I just hate Red Bull for that. Oh shit, I forgot how fucking dope my car looks. I got a million fucking points! Nice. Level 6. Level 6 car. Fucking, whoa, what's this? Built for improved acceleration and handling, makes corners easier to take, allows for smooth to start. Raises top speed and turbo duration, so it's perfect for top s for speed demons. Handling suffers, however. Oh, I don't like my handling fucking suffering. This one was better. The twin turbo fucking sucks ass. This one's just a better version of the normal one. Yo. I'm buying them, but that's not kind of not the thing I'm going for, you know? There's no green. I mean, uh, no red. That's fucking weird. I think we used these musics. Last episode we were keep using the... You know what would be fucking awesome? The... What was it called again? What was that song I fucking remembered? Ah, uh, fuck. Concept of love from Jet Set Radio. Let's do some taxi missions. We only have three left, I guess. I don't know, it might not be free, it actually might be much more. And you know what? Let's start this episode off with some fucking cool shit. I have a lot to say, by the way. Um, last week, I didn't record any fucking Yakuza 5. But last week, I finished recording my Crash Bandicoot 2 Let's Play. And, like, good fucking lord, what a mess that Let's Play turned out to be. Who'd think that making a Crash 2 Let's Play can be fucked up this much, but I fucked up so fucking bad. I hate myself for it, because I fucking love Crash 2, and for me to finally make a Let's Play out of one of my most beloved games, and fuck it up. I hate myself for it. And... I was recording a bunch of gameplays and such, I've also recorded a lot of gameplays and such. The fuck did I just say that I recorded a bunch of gameplays and such and also recorded a bunch of them? I think that's what I fucking said. I'm sorry, my head is fucking killing me. I think I'm gonna fucking explode. It's infuriating. And what I meant is that I recorded a bunch of gameplays and such from my Steam Deck. That's what I should have said. And edited, 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 fucking edit them. Edited. Is that the fucking past thing? Oh, fuck this shit. Fuck the English language, man. So the Deathless Killers are back for more, huh? They're on my way. Ah, uh, my point is... I've made a bunch of gameplays and such last week, because I have a bunch of Yakuza episodes in advance, and I have a bunch of Uncharted episodes and Crash 2 episodes, so I don't really need to... I could take, like, a week off from making Let's Plays, but I ain't gonna, because this is my calling. Mind if I tag along? This way you can teach me how to deal with more clients. He obviously knows where I'm going. What happened to studying for your class hey. too? Well, both Wada-san and Muromatsu-san seem pretty sure that I can pass now. They, they gave me their okay. Did they really? But I didn't. Yeah, I even aced the practice test. I've been studying my butt off. Also, I just realized something, but at the beginning of the game, when Kiryu's in a taxi giving a lift for Daigo, he's got... A hat that he never wears ever again. Did he left it somewhere and fucking lost it? He had a hat 
sunglasses and a mask, which pretty well conceal concealed his face. Except even a mask can conceal his voice. And as soon as he opened his mouth, he, we all fucking knew who it was. There was no fool in us. We didn't fucking play five games before this one, only to be fooled by Kiryu's stupid voice. Help me out, Kirakawa son. <laughs> I'd say you've been making an admirable effort. Why not take him with you, Suzuki son? He does need more time on the field. I'm not sure he benefits from that kind of a quest. I don't say that, even if it doesn't seem relevant, I still want to know how it's done. He's certainly enthusiastic, now that's not dedication. I don't know what is, wouldn't you say so? So last time I raced, I raced against uh, the glasses guy, I forgot his name, Murakawa, something like that. And he said that, oh, he used to, he hates street racers because he actually wanted to be a professional fucking racer, like an F1 Formula 1 racer. But he failed because it's expensive and he couldn't really cut it. And now he fucking hates street racers because they treat racing like it's just fucking whatever. Sorry. I guess. <laughs> Which is very reminiscent of a story in Yakuza Kiwami where you find a kid uh, that you used to pocket race in Yakuza 0. And then you find, find him in Kiwami where he's all grown up and apparently he tried to pursue F1 racing. And he couldn't cut it for the same reason Murakawa couldn't. Except he didn't fucking challenge me to a street race, he challenged me to a pocket circuit race. Maybe that's why Kiryu's a taxi driver. Just got that Kamurocho fastest in him, you know? There are only two of the four kings left to go, you can do this. So he defeated the Crash Bandicoot guy, he was fucking stupid and he was just like, oh whatever, I drive fast and ram into people. Second guy was all calculative, like, oh, I fucking analyze your uh, style of racing, blah, blah, blah. I, The third one's gonna be a hot chick. And she's gonna try to seduce me. That's my bet. I don't remember who the fuck the third opponent is. But if it's that, then this game is very schematic. And it's like almost every time I'm introduced to some four evil motherfuckers I have to defeat, then it's always the same fucking four evil motherfuckers. She's not trying to just... This, this, ah, oh, fuck this shitty word. You can beat Crash Bandicoot first and cool motherfucker. Guess that means today you'll be facing. Hey guys. Is that him? Which one of you big boys is Mr. Suzuki from Nagasa Taxi? He is the second in command. Oh, come on. I was fucking off. You know, in Yakuza 7. Uh, there's a kart racing mini game. Fucking awesome. I don't know why they didn't brought it back in Yakuza 8. Yakuza 8 is so packed full of ridiculous shit. I don't know why they didn't brought back the fucking kart racer. It was awesome. And in that, you face off. First, you face off against. I don't know, some two idiots. Then you face off against a hottie. And then you face off against a calculative guy, just like here. I don't know, it's just kind of... I thought it was maybe similar. And then you do the business minigame and you also face off against a hot-headed guy, then a calculative guy, then a hot chick, and then the fourth is like the big leader guy. There he is, the second gentleman. What's so gentle about him? <laughs> it's me. He's a true veteran, oldest one on the team. He's the last original devil killer too. Been with him from the start. Well, that is all... He's age fool you, he's fast as lightning and so on, not to mention he's tracked up ton of wisdom and experience from the wheel. If he's with them from the beginning, if I remember correctly, it is implied that our boss at our taxi company is actually the one who started the Devil Killers and he used to be a street racer. So that means these guys must be friends. Or at least past friends, I don't know. Pretty clued up for a youngster, not bad, Mr. Suzuki. Actually, Mr. Suzuki is this guy right here. Ah, so you're the man. You sure you're in the right place? To tell I thought you'd be a little less of on any years. Who the fuck are you to fucking call me old? That makes two of us. <laughs> oh, I'm mistaken for some. One of those doodering old seniors you see puttering around. So, uh, last week on Friday, I started a new fucking job. Finally. Because sitting on my ass for over two months has almost drove me crazy 
And, well, the first day was a lot of fucking paperwork. And I, we only been there for like a short amount of time. Not a full fucking day of work. And you might be wondering, what kind of work did I found? You know what, I live in a shitty ass fucking no future dead shithole in the middle of fucking nowhere. There really is nothing else for me to do. I had such a nice little factory job where I was putting together these fucking electrical circuit boxes and I really liked it. And then I got fired because of layoffs. And what else was a guy in my age supposed to fucking do? I joined up with the army. So I'm in the army now. You're in the army now. And... They already on the first fucking day asked me if I want to go and guard the border. And I was like, fuck yeah. But... And I really thought I was going to go this week. And I was like, god damn it, that means I'll be two weeks away from home. That means no Let's Plays. Oh shit. Well, thank fucking god I have so many videos ahead. Recorded ahead. I was actually thinking today I would have to sit down and upload a bunch of videos. But I guess not. So that's uh, nice, I guess. That's neat. It's cool. Whatever. And <clears throat> and what else? Oh, my head is fucking killing me, man. I can't fucking stand it. And that's kind of it, really. Didn't got to eat. Didn't got to do any exercises. Pretty much fucking did nothing. Other than some paperwork and shit. Pays double what I used to earn. And if I really do get to fucking uh, go guard the border, then it pays triple. So, what the fuck, man? Why doesn't everybody just join the army? Well, that's the thing. It's not so fucking easy. Especially the artillery, artillery division that I'm in. That's kind of the most desired one to join. And... Well... It's kind of like, you know... Like, yeah, cool, I'll be earning more money, but I'm not really fucking hot about this. Not really into this whole fucking army shtick. I don't want to be a fucking soldier. It sounds like a, like I'm fucking wasting myself, you know? I should be a fucking world-renowned Let's Player or some shit. Famous for not playing the game and talking about completely unrelated shit. When it comes to driving, experience triumphs all else. I've refined my skills over decades, maturing them like a fine wine. Didn't he hit glasses on, like... Or am I fucking crazy? I've heard you already bested two of four kings. Is that correct? That is. Well, from where I'm standing, those guys might as well be fresh out of driving school. Just because you know how to hold the wheel and step on the gas doesn't mean you know how to race. Watch and learn, Mr. Pizza Shit. Suki, because today's lesson is how to lose straight sight of a veteran. Maybe I should have gone with the speed upgrade. Ooh, that's a nice fucking car. Me like it. Mine's cooler though. No, his car is fucking nice. Come on. Alright, bitch. Oh shit, I thought I was supposed to turn. Ah, what a dumbass. What a nice fucking drift. Just two laps. Not that I fucking bumped into them. If I can pull this off first try, that'd be nice. See, I'm not sick of these Jack's taxi missions now because it took a long ass break from the game. I've also been playing um, Star Wars. And I feel like I'm getting really close to the end. I fought Darth Vader. There's a fight with Darth Vader in the game. It's pretty dope, but the events leading up to the boss fight against Darth Vader are really traumatizing, I'd say. Come on, Suzuki. Come on. Alright, man, I'll fucking step on it. I feel like this move's like a last resort type of shit. I probably shouldn't use it so much. Because whenever I use it, well, I don't get to use it again. Those special blue moves that you get only—you can only use once per stage, so per race. 
That's why I think it's kind of fun. Like, they should bring back racing. Like I said, Yakuza 7 has card racing, but, like, it is card racing, not like this. They should totally bring back, like, street racing. You know what I actually thought? That Hawaii has fucking long enough streets where you could probably pull off some kind of street racing minigame. I think that would have been actually pretty cool, but... Uh, I don't know if fucking... First of all, I don't fucking know if Ichibana has a fucking driver's license. Second of all, I don't know if you can actually use a, a Japanese driver's license in Japan. No, a Japanese driver's license in America. Americans kind of have their own thing going on. Like they always fucking do. They gotta have everything going on on their own, like their measurement systems and shit. Most retarded shit I've ever fucking heard. It's almost as bad as driving on the left side of the road, measuring in fucking feet. Choking? What are they, fucking food fetishes? Suck my dick with that fucking bent lay of yours. I win. I'm gonna customize my car. I have another idea for a cool setup. Man, this car is cool. I wish I could unlock new models for my taxi. Like, you know, you beat the guy and then you get to have a taxified version of his car. That would have been fucking awesome. You did it, Suzuki-san. That's nearly all four kings. There's only one left, their leader. How could this be? Been racing for decades. Doggone it. I suppose this turns turn of events isn't entirely uncalled for. I must say, Nakajima almost found himself a diamond in the rough. Did you just say Nakajima? How do you know we're boss? How? Well, he's the original devil killer. The man started the whole gang over 20 years ago. What? I thought we figured that out though. Or was that just me? You're telling me the chief started the devil killers? You gotta be joking. He's just an old geezer, no offense. We are all a lot younger 20 years ago. Like, 70. Now we're all fucking should be dead. The boss was a real speed demon back then, the fastest in Fukuoka, and maybe even all of Kyushu. Maybe even all of the universe. That's just no, my brain can't handle that. Huh? Your brain can't handle a lot to be honest. You tell me why a legendary god of street racer would quit would quit just to start driving taxis around. Your guess is as good as mine, young man. I bet the boss will come out and tell us and he it sad fucking music will play in the back. Like, oh, I fucking raced once, but I ran over a cat, and since then I have not been racing. Weren't you an original member of his team? Surely you must know something. Ah, oh, back then I was just a slowpoke. I never really got to talk to the man. Though I'm glad I stuck with it. I made it to the Four Kings, after all. Took me long enough. Now I go losing to a taxi driver. Perhaps my age has finally caught up with me. Some racer am I, eh? Funny. That's funny stuff. So, I think, since I started working, I'm gonna go back to recording two videos a day. Because, well, like I started recording really fucking late today, and it's like, okay, it's not a problem to record three episodes. I'll just be sitting here for an hour and a half, that's not too much. But, then I have to fucking edit them, make thumbnails and other bullshit, and then it kind of all adds up to me spending the rest of my evening fucking doing this shit. And, I don't know, I want to fucking do something else, so I'm gonna go back to two videos a day. Make it a bit easier on myself. I hear you were out showing Kyokaoku in the ropes today, huh? No, today I was up against the Devil Killers. Oh, that thing you were doing for a local police? Don't get into any accidents you hear. Although I fucking forgot that I'm supposed to be doing this for the police. That's the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard. I'm fucking risking my life and racing out on the streets, risking other people's life for a fucking... what? Because the police can't handle this shit themselves? I mean, I know it's just an excuse for me to race a taxi in a cool fucking minigame, but... Still, that's fucking stupid. I need to ask you something. Hmm? What? What's that? Is it true you were the one who founded the Devil Killers? Where'd you heard that? From Gentle Nakamura, the guy I just raced. 
Looks like a cat sat at the back. Also, who the fuck is that? I was thinking to have a sit down with you one of these days. Might as well be now. Damn it. This episode's fucking 20 minutes long. I was hoping to do some taxi missions, like the normal ones. When you're young, you have time to do whatever your heart desires. For me, that was cars. I love it more than anything. Well, just about. Before I knew it, there was a whole bunch of us, motorheads to the core. So I decided to form the Devil Killers. Why is it such a name? I don't fucking know. It sounded cool. We raced day and night, trying to sh shave seconds off our best times. We all knew the danger of racing on the highway, but we were careful. Tracked down the best spots, found out where there was less least traffic. We posted lookouts with walkie-talkies. <clears throat> Is it a walkie-talkie if you stand with it? For a close-knit bunch, it wasn't long before we gained a reputation. I quickly moved on from that shitty joke. That's the fastest boys in town. My devil killer's days? That's the prime of my life. Can't you imagine? This old gnarl gnarled stump of a tree once had a leaf up top. What the fuck? Also, I've been often wondering, am I past my prime? Like, have I been ever in Prime? My whole fucking life just feels like a complete fucking waste of nothing. I don't know, maybe I haven't fucking reached my Prime yet. Anyhow, as with anything, <clears throat> time was never on our side. With each passing generation, the glue that held the crew together seemed to be dis dissolving. And look at me now. Now look at him. We drive like reckless maniacs, no regard for safety whatsoever. And they brought gambling on board. When it comes down to it, there ain't hardly nothing left of the vision I once had, only greed and ill gain remain. Yeah. People shouldn't have to suffer because of it. Racing was about to thrill, not, not this. Well, it's synopsis of Kisan. There's something I want to ask you. Yeah? I want you to break up the devil killers. Can you do that for me? No. Who the fuck's this? Another devil killer at your phone? Better see who it is. Sorry, one moment. Also, I remember that the recent taxi missions, you know, the ones where I have to drive carefully, didn't even fucking involve me driving at all. It just, it was just a fucking bunch of cutscenes. Like, what the fuck? Did they, like, ran out of time and couldn't finish the taxi minigames? What's up, Suzuki-san? Who is this? The last of the four kings, tactically. The fifth to lead the devil killers. Long story short, I'm Devil Takamura. Wait, the fifth? What do you mean, the fifth? I just get this number. How would you like? What did you like to know? What is it you want? I'll take a fucking guess. Hmm, so you've been preying on my teammates lately, and thanks to a taxi driver of all people, they've been on a losing streak. It'd be bad if I, the word got around, so someone's gotta nip that in the bud, whatever that means. I don't see why. Other people know the truth. Yeah, I don't fucking think so, Bill. Our livelihood depends on the rap. Take that away, you take away your business, got me? That's what you get for basing your business on extortion. Pfft. Say what you like. Either way, we need to get back on back our good game. I'm thinking on like a major scale, so let's hold a race with spectators and all. How about it? Me against you. Or are you afraid to get your ass handed to you? No, I refuse to be part of the circuit act. Shouldn't wait to hear. My, should wait to hear my offer. I'm assuming Nakajima wimp that he is asked you to dismantle the devil killers. Am I right? Uh, no. Who? Thought so. Are you saying you'll disband the devil killers if I beat you in a race? That's exactly what I'm saying. Whoever rules the road makes the rules. In other words, the fastest guy calls the shots. That's always been our way. I don't remember if we watched any new Fallout episodes. I haven't fucking watched it in a while, but. I think I, I'm on episode 7. Can't quite remember what happened in 6. Fine, you'll get your race. Just so you know, I don't take kindly to people who go back on the wo on the ward. Of course, wouldn't expect you to. But just so you know, there's a reason I'm in charge of the devil killers. Because I got the shittiest car ever. Better be prepared, old man. I bet he's got a Lamborghini or some bullshit. Or Ferrari. Damn it, why is this episode almost over and I haven't fucking... I just done one fucking race. How is it this game does this to me? 
The devil killer Takamura says he will break up the team if you win. That's a long and short of it. There was one race that completely didn't involve the devil killers and that was the Spangled Meteor race. I would love to run into more races like that around town. Where I just run into people who are racers, but like street racers, but they're not related to the devil killers. They're just like on their own, Vixen Zeros. Yeah, Vixen Zeros were really cool. Why don't they help me with the devil killers? I could replace the devil killers. So the bad seeds I saw on the way back have sprouted into weeds. Dangling up the new generation, I'm ashamed. Don't be so hard on yourself. But I do have to ask, are you really okay having such a big part of your past gone for good? Kira, you have abandoned your fucking family, dude. I don't mind. The only one I care about most are all right here beside me. Ain't that right, Water-chan? You bet, leader. Huh? Water son, don't tell me you were a devil killer too. Oh, of course he was, look at him. Yep, as we were some of the older drivers. I guess that means I'm part of an elite team here. That's bitchin'. From what I hear, is it's on the devil Takamura as quick as they come. Don't get out there without a plan. I plan to take out a loan. Uh, maybe not even a fucking loan. Like a small loan. Rent myself a Lamborghini, put a taxi like light on it, and then kick his ass, and then give the Lamborghini back. Hey. Keep that in mind. Then, without further ado, boys, let's go back to it. Before that, can I ask you one thing? You already did. Why did you leave street racing at the Devil Killers? That's where the sad music's supposed to kick in. I meant everything to you, didn't they? Well. I think you ought to leave it there, Suzuki-san. I'm sure you have some things in your life you'd rather keep close to your chest, no? Sorry. That was rude of me. Yeah. Nah, you were just curious. I should be the one apologizing. Okay, everyone, why don't we all just drive safely? Give it our best. Leave the heavy stuff behind, huh? Sounds like a plan to me. Alright, I want to go back customize my taxi. Devil Takamura, no doubt you'll be my toughest opponent yet. But make no mistake, I won't go down so easy. I feel like I'm approaching, like, kind of like the end of the Kiryu chapter. I think... Semi-racing? I ain't got enough fucking... I ain't got enough points for that. Oh my god, look at this fucking camera spazzing out like it's fucking crazy. I wanna go with this. It's pretty cool, like an alternative kind of thing. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Now, I wish we had red, because then... Uh, red would fucking fit pretty nicely with... This actually doesn't look half bad with the blue, but it's... It fits way better with orange. This one f fucking doesn't fit with anything. It's a bunch of tribal shit that's purple. Doesn't fit with anything, really. Uh, the fucking flames are pathetic looking. And you know, none of them are fucking actually pretty nice looking too. Look at this blue, baby blue cab. Keeping the racing gig, though. Let's do these stupid fucking missions. I mean, at least one of them this episode. Next one, we're gonna wrap them up and defeat the devil killers, I guess. I'm from Agasta Taxi. Sorry for the wait. Ah, oh, there you are. The girl I'm going on a date with should be here soon. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. So you're on a date today? That's right. It's the first date I've ever gone on. So I'm really nervous. Sata san, the girl I'm going with is incredibly cute. And she has a great personality to match. I hope I can show her a good time. I worry I won't have anything to talk about. Say, what's a good thing to talk about when you want to impress a girl on the first date? Well, I think it's best to be yourself and talk about what interests you. Let's see, my interest, huh? Hey. Oh, he's gonna be like a fucking weirdo, isn't he? Well, I'm really into anime and cute girls. I've literally seen every series. Even ones nobody else knows about. Yeah, I could talk about them all day. Um, hmm, what's the matter? I suggest not giving, diving that deep on the first date. Oh, you think so? Some people might not understand. Really? Then what am I supposed to talk about? About something more relatable. More relatable? I don't know if I can do that. Oh gosh, my palms are getting all sweaty. What am I going to do? 
Amara Kun, sorry to keep you waiting. There she is. Wait, what did it just said something about otaku? If it sounds like I'm running running the mood, think you could help me out? Hey. I'll do my best. Wait, did they went on a fucking date in a taxi? It's a date. You can just get on a taxi, drive around. I was so surprised when you asked me out on a date, Yamada Kun. You were? Do you date lots of girls? Um, every day in my dreams. What? Every day? So many different girls? You fucking piece of shit. No, no. Don't worry, Santa san This is my first time I've gone out with someone in meat space. I thought he said meta space, but I was like, what the fuck? It's even worse than meta space. The only way this guy could be any worse if he was a crypto bro. What's, the, what's meat space, Yamada kun? And it's not meat space as in like meeting people. No, it's like meat as in fucking meat, you know? Like people are made of fucking flesh. Meat space is just uh, help me out here. I'm guessing he means in real life, but saying that might make him sound like too much of a fucking piece of goddamn fucking shit nerd. Well, meat space is. Um. Well, not disastrous, because then she'll think that them eating is a disaster. A way of complimenting people might not. She might fucking see it through. Well, meat sounds like a snack. Kind of an afternoon snack, like skinny sausages. You guys ever fucking ate skinny sausages? They're fucking delicious. Snack? I never heard of this one before. Yeah, that's it. It usually involves some kind of salami. Normally be chewing on one right now, but I decided to go out with you instead. Look at his mouth movements. Like her mouth movements are fucking normal, but look at his. Pay attention to his mouth. I'm not quite sure I understand, but I guess it's nice to pick me. Over food. Like, holy fucking shit, what? What is he, a fucking alien? Shit, you offer dried meat any day, Satakun. San. Chan, I don't fucking know. Thanks, I always took you for the shy type, your mother coon, but you're actually pretty funny. She bought it. Have any hobbies, Satakun? San? Yeah, I'm a big fan of music. I've been listening to a lot of cafe style tunes lately. Things like bossa nova and jazz. So fucking launch music. What is with this guy's fucking entire face? His hair looks like like it just doesn't have any textures on it. Just a black fucking color. Like he looks fucking creepy. He's like an alien. Wow, that's awesome. You like music as well, you mother? Cool. Of course. I listen to music every night. I guess we got something in common. Like, wow, listening to music we should get along great. I hate fucking music. I honestly don't understand people who seem to genuinely hate music. I know you can hate the genre of music, or you can hate the music that plays on the radio because it's just the most generic type of music imaginable, but fucking hating music in general? It's a bit fucking weird. Think so? What type of music do you like? I only listen to any songs. Oh, whoops. Any songs? You mean anime theme songs? Is that what they're fucking called? No, why would I want to listen to that? Also, what is with the lighting around town? What is this game fucking glitching out? It's not the. What the fuck, man? Look at the lighting in the back. It's glitching out. It's like we're being possessed. I think that might be fucking Yamada kun with his devil mouth. It's not the any songs I was talking about. What were you talking about? Fucking baby metal, I don't know. When I said Annie songs, I meant, uh, shit, what was it again? Well, Annie songs is... Kinda... I don't know what the fuck a Chan song is. Animal song sounds fucking stupid. I don't know what the fuck this means. I'll go with this. See how fucking lame this is? I'm not driving the cab. I don't even get to see my cool blue cab anymore. It's the name of a singer. Yeah, that's it. Most people haven't heard of him, but he has a pretty dedicated fan base. He's a real legend. I think his real name is Benjamin John Anisons. I've never heard of him. What kind of music does he make? Uh, a really shitty one. It's really heavy, classical, techno pop. 
Eurobeat, Italian disco, that type of shit. It sounds a bit too eccentric for my taste. I can't even imagine what that sounds like. Man, it used to be just one fucking Italian disco music song that I fucking listened to. I can't remember the name of it, but it was so fucking good. It was something a little more approachable. I was going to ask for a CD from you. But I guess their tastes are too different. It'd be fucking hilarious. Like an absolutely hilarious gag. If Kiryu just like pulled out a CD case of the exact singer that they just talked about. Turns out he's real. It's like, here, you can have mine. Oh, I kind of spoiled the mood. What kind of guys do you just go for, Sato-san? Let me think. Uh, not ones like you. Handsome guys with good fashion sense, right? Opposite of me. No, I feel it doesn't really matter to me. And it's all about their in interests, like active guys who know all the latest trends. I kind of know all the latest trends, but I usually fucking hate them. That stuff isn't all important to me either. That's my personality then. But you like guys who are outgoing, have lots of friends, and can make you laugh. Well, there's more to personality than that. Then what the fuck do you like, you bitch? One thing I like is guys who are comfortable being themselves. Comfortable being themselves? And that's exactly what I've not been doing. Doesn't matter what, whether you're unattractive, have strange interests, or poor social skills. Is this car in the back gonna fucking ram us? Soon, <laughs> as long as they're happy with who they are, and don't try to be fake, I like genuine people. Guinea people? That's right. The kind of guy I like. What's a fucking do, driver? Keep hiding. You're fucking pathetic. She's only trying to fucking lure you to reveal to be a weirdo. I don't know. You should drop the act and be yourself. Sure about that? I think it will pull her off. I think it'll be fine. As long as you stay confident and keep your head held high. Okay, got it. What's up, Yamada Kun? Who are you and Driver talking about? You want to know? Well, we're talking about the cute animal girls that I love so much. What? I got to be honest with you, Sato-san. The truth is, I'm obsessed with anime that have cute girls. There's really nothing else I'm interested in. I make a joke, like, I don't know, list an anime that has no cute girls, but I don't really fucking watch too much anime to know anything about that. Also, since I'm recording only two episodes today, I guess I don't really mind going over the 30 minute mark. Is that so? Yeah, and I dream about going on dates with the characters. There are cute ones, moody ones, and even devoted mate types, all sorts. Just like in real life, I guess. My only fucking anime waifu crush I ever had. Ever had. Because, like, I don't think I crushed on any other fucking fictional character before. Or after. It was uh, Haru from Persona 5. She was so cute. What type are you, Sato-san? Any ideas? You sure look cute, but maybe you have a moody streak. I bet a maid's uniform would look great on you. Either way, there's one thing I can say for certain. I've got a crush on you. Hope we can make this work. I, f I think I want to get out of this fucking taxi. What? This is horrible. Oh, well, why? I'm just showing you the real me. Oh, I guess I fucking ruined this guy's life. Well, I hope he... Well, I hope the way he kills himself is very painless. When you spend your free time, is up to you, you mother coon. I don't criticize that, but it takes time to get to know someone. If you took your time, I could maybe learn to accept that sort of fucking bullshit, but it's just too much all at once. Oh, shit. Should try to be more considerate of other people's feelings. Fuck. Game over, man. Well, I didn't give him very good advice. Bro, I'm kind of a fucking 40-year-old version. I don't really have the best dating advices. Fucking find someone else if you want to score a bitch. Here we are. <laughs> here we are. The suicide spot's right here. Kind of get the feeling that things would have gone better if I didn't follow your advice. Maybe, but she's still here. Here's the fair. What, you dumped him? They didn't even went on the date? Was that the whole date? Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm heading home to watch my anime. 
Only my anime understands me. Good for you, you fucking loser piece of shit. I hope you fucking kill yourself. And am I an edge lord or what? See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.